so today we are going to do a nursery tour of what we have set up currently. Of course, I'm going to have to show you guys Elijah. He's taking a little nap here. He was a little fussy right before, but we got him to take a little nap. Soon he's going to be coming out of his swaddle. But yeah, we can start over here. So when you walk in, I have this little setup here and I'm still kind of debating on where I want the chair. For now, we have this little setup. This is where we read him books. So right here, we have the shelving that I got from Ikea. And I will go ahead and try to link everything I can down below so you guys can take a look where I purchased everything. And then I went ahead and just used those for the bookshelves and then I flipped over one of the bookshelves so I can hang up some of his clothes here. And I will try to go into as much details as, as I can, but I will be doing another one with more details in the few, um, once I actually finish the nursery. So this one is gonna be kind of like a quick little mini tour, and then once I get the nursery actually finalized and when he's actually using it, I'll give a updated nursery tour as well. So over here is literally one of my favorite baby purchases that I bought, this little camera. I am a photographer, so this one I got off Amazon. And I will go ahead um, and link that down below as well. But I'm actually going to be giving one of these away in a giveaway. So make sure you follow my Instagram because I'm going to be doing a huge baby giveaway. So make sure to follow my Instagram down below because I'm going to be giving one of these away. Oh. <laughs> oh, bless you. Are you ready to get out of your swaddle? Yeah? You're so ready. It's already past your getting out of your swaddle, but you're so nice to let mommy kind of set up in here, right? Okay, let's get you out of your swaddle. Hold on. Are you ready to get out of your swaddle? You ready? Here we go. Your hands are coming out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. Stretch those hands. You're out. You're free. I'm going to get you fully out of your swaddle here in a second, but stretch those hands. <laughs> so he actually transitioned to this one. We were using the halo before, but he loves having his hands up, so we found this swaddle really helps him at night with sleeping. Yeah? <laughs> He's learning to smile now, too. He's almost two months, you guys, so his smiles are coming out. We can't wait for his little giggles to come out. Oh, I know. Okay, Mommy's going to finish those. Mommy's going to get you fully out of your swaddle. Alright, you ready? Oh no, your socks fell off. That's okay. So we normally don't wear these onesies. We, we usually wear the zippered ones and we hardly put socks on because we have the footies attached then. But we gave him this cute little outfit for church yesterday and I just wanted to take some photos of him so we want... We got him back into this little outfit. You right, baby? Oh, let's get you out. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, yes, it's so nice and warm in here, huh? You excited to get out of that swaddle, right? Yeah. Oh. Try again. You don't want it, you don't want it. Alright. Oh, he doesn't want it. That's okay. Look at you. Look at your legs are getting so chunky. Your cheeks are so chunky. And he was this small, you guys. He was this small. I have it that he was due in December because we were due like November 29th. So I was like, okay, most moms go past their due date. But no, he was due on November 21st, so. Hi, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not having it. You don't want your pacifier, huh? You want to play and laugh? Yeah. <laughs> you want these toys? 
boom, boom, boom. Okay. I know. So much new things, huh? <laughs> so, right here I have my coffee. And these cups are amazing. I'll link them down below. They keep the heat. Like, I made this coffee probably like 15, 20 minutes ago, and the coffee's still warm. With a newborn, you don't get to sip your coffee right away. But basically, when you walk right in, this is what you see here. This little layout here. So I'll do like a little overview here. I'll try to do this a little bit quick because he might get fussy. And then you go over to this side. He's over there getting entertained by his little play activity. But as you can see, he's getting fussy. Then over on this side, this is what we have over here. So I'll kind of go into detail with everything over on this side first. So when you walk in, this is a setup. So we got this crib from Ikea. You guys see it everywhere. I knew I wanted the crib just because it was so beautiful and it has that neutral wood look that I love. Um, as you can see, I'll show you guys through a little bit of the clothing as well. That, um, all his clothing is like neutral. And I will be doing a few more videos coming up where like I shop for my clothes, small business shops and all that stuff too. So, And this little thing down here um, is from Target and that's their play fort I think it's called they had the 40% off so I had to get that that's why I'm gonna put like blankets or else like some toys um, I want to get more but they were completely sold out so maybe when they go back to regular price I can grab some more I'm um, over here he's getting a little fussy so I put this up here this is actually from a um, this little set up here is actually from a play gym that we use downstairs for his tummy time and you guys, you know you see all those ones with so much bright colors. This is not, so, oh my goodness, I can't, like, he's so cute. It doesn't have those bright colors like everything has. You know I love my neutral colors. Um, oh, your face fits through that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hold on, I have to pause this and get a photo, you guys. So, I got that photo with his head in it. It was super cute. So, I'm going to post that on Instagram because, like, how adorable is that? Let me focus on him. So, yeah. It has like the wood touch finish and it's so cute it, um, and the play like matte too is like a neutral gray like this and it's just super cute so I'll link that down below. And then this mattress crib sheet we got from Mushy. Um, I think they're sold out but I'm going to also link that below. But it's just so cute. It's like this little woven um, waffle kind of material and then we have a little gift from one of my best friends, Dina. She got this from Target. I think this is called Island. Up here, this actually took us longer. My mom came over to help me. I had these. I had this one actually for a long, long time. This like giraffe one. But these are all from Hobby Lobby. And then I went to Hobby Lobby again and they had 50% off. So I grabbed like everything that kind of I thought would match in the room and it actually turned out pretty well. So this one says welcome to my crib um, they all have like the wood finishes to it and then this one says boys were made for adventure and then down here this one's my favorite one this one says for this child I have prayed I just love that and then of course the giraffe here so that's how that turned out there he's still kicking so Still okay and over here we have this little um, clothing rack I actually had this like room before as like a additional storage room um, and I was gonna eventually turn this into my closet <laughs> but two years later I never even touched this room and then we had baby Elijah so of course I wanted this to be his room because all of the natural light coming in he's not sleeping here yet but when he will be yeah when he will be he has all that natural light coming in here and then we'll get those blackout curtains because these are not. But for now, these will do. So over here we have um, all these clothes on this IKEA rack. I have only like 10, 20 bucks or something like that. So the like first half over here is basically all the clothes he's wearing right now. It's like from 
here to about like right here with the actual hangers with the gray ones are zero to three months and then over here is basically three to six months and there's a few two to four months which we need to wash and get organized i'm gonna have to start washing all this stuff and start organizing it because he is actually in right now two to four months and this is from h m and of course we have bibs um, pacifier here he loves it and yeah so he actually takes all kind of like pacifiers and bottles so he's not just set on this one Yep, like I said, this is from Pillow Fort. And I'm not going to be going into the closets or into the drawers today because, one, they're still kind of a mess. But he does have, like, a little walk-in closet. It's just a mess right now because of after, like, the baby shower and us buying more products and after Christmas and all that stuff. Battery died, so we're over here. We've got him fed. And we're going to go ahead and change your diaper, right? So the diapers I am currently using are these, and these are the Up and Up brand, and I really love them. So, yep, and then we usually use Up and Up brand um, as well for the wipes, but we are trying out this one, which is the Honest one, and I like, I'll show you guys how they look, but it has like the little rigets in there, so that's really nice too. Um, this is the Kikaroo, and you don't have to worry about getting all those changing um, pads and replacing them and washing them. If he does end up um, getting the Kikari or changing pad dirty, you can just wipe it off and it's just amazing. So I know some people still put changing pads on there, but I am obsessed with this. Yeah? <laughs> this is what I mean, like it has like the little ridges in it. So it's easy to kind of to like wipe and it's really gentle. So. Alright, so we got him fed, changed, now he's so happy. So we're going to go ahead and finish off. I think we were over here, I think. Oh, I guess not. Oh, I think he wants this pacifier. He probably eyed it and saw it, right? Yeah. There we go. All right. So yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to be doing a Instagram giveaway. So this is my Instagram right here. Um, be sure to give me a follow. I think we're going to be doing that at the end of the month or like probably beginning or mid-February. And here's this little ultrasound. And then we have some books here. We're going to have to switch out. And then with this little little babe cave we got from Hobby Lobby as well. And a lot of these books I got from I think um, like Home Goods. Like this one's really pretty. I'm going to show you guys inside of that one. Yeah. So home goods and this one's like one of my favorites too. This is a little blue truck leads the way. And it's just so cute inside of these books. And I'm gonna show you actually the Noah's one too because it's so like the illustrations inside of this is really pretty. So that's that. Um oh. So loud putting all this stuff back and then over here we have we have a lot more books but these are the ones we've been reading right now we have the five little monkeys like this is oh, oh i'm so sorry baby we're almost done and we can go downstairs there we go sometimes he he can't latch onto that one as well so he drops it um right here we have five little monkeys and that's something that we read when we were little so i love that and then we have like these five minute little reads um, story times. So we have like all of the kind of like traditional like Red Riding Hood, the three little pigs. Um, there's like Aladdin, but these stories are way different than like what you would um, kind of see in the movie. Like um, the Little Mermaid's a lot different in here. Um, uh, Aladdin is totally different in here. I haven't read all of them, but that's that one. And if I find these on Amazon or something, I will go ahead and link them, but these are really great, especially when um, Elijah's a little fussy. We read these little five minute stories. Um, we attempted to put the shoes on. <laughs> He's still way too small for them, so we're waiting for him to be able to fit into them. I think we got these at Marshall's. This we got from an Etsy shop. I will go ahead and try to find who I purchased it from, and I will go ahead and link that below. 
we got a shop. Small business, especially during COVID. I'm a photographer. I know how it feels right now, so. And then down here is actually like all of his little, and I think these are H&M and Carter's, three months. My sister bought like a huge set and a few of them are mixed in there. But these are kind of like his little onesies. So that's that little section there. And then right here, right here, I just kicked it on accident. I was trying to churn it so you guys can kind of see a little bit better. There we go. This I got from Target and it's amazing. It reclines, it rocks, it swivels, it does everything. And I got it on sale. And then of course, red card. And it's just so comfy, especially feeding him, reading his books. It's amazing. And then over here, so this is a little changing area here. I got this dresser from Target. I went ahead and changed the handles to these like wooden ones. Um, I think it just works with the nursery so much better. I think they were silver before. I will link the dresser down below. And that is a Kikaru. It is a changing pad. It's amazing because you don't have to worry about um, putting changing pad covers on it. If he does make a mess you just wipe it off we have not came across that issue yet um but we don't change him that often in here um because his little nursery is on the bedside right now in a bassinet over here are two like ikea drawers i had these in the closet <laughs> yeah elijah's getting fussy so i'm gonna make sure to try to wrap it up here um so here we have this and it says 10,000 goodnight kisses and it's just so cute it, of course it has like the wood touch there um here we have this candle it's another local photographer here in minnesota and she makes her own candles as well so this is her business so go ahead and give her a follow over here we just have my mom bought him um these little burberry leggings that we're gonna when he's older i think this is like 18 months and a little rattle wood toy i don't know why it's here just put it in there And then over here, we have the changing pad, the kikaru. And then over here, we have these two items and my coffee. <laughs> um, Mama needs her coffee. So both of these are from Hobby Lobby, and it just says, love you more. And this little thing actually rolls, so eventually, I guess you can use it as a toy as well. And this mirror, I'm just kind of wearing this cozy outfit with leggings. Um, you guys can see it's like snowy outside, um, so wearing this like cozy sweater and I think I got this from Marshalls and it's like cozy socks but and then in here I'll show you guys a quick snippet why I'm not gonna get too much detail in here because everything's not really organized yet over here we have some lotions and body wash samples over here are like his um, washcloths we use so much and we bought more of them his bibs are over here his hats we have like the changing pad and these are all like different types of samples of um, baby wipes that we're trying out right now as you guys can see I was trying out this one and then burp cloth so it took us a while actually to buy some but guys buy them right now I'm linking them in Amazon buy them trust me you're gonna need them we use them so much the overflow of um, baby wipes um, baby diapers and stuff like that. Um, he's in size one currently and these are the up and up baby brand and this is the wipes we're currently using and we love these ones. Everyone raves about these water wipes and I just don't know how I feel. I love that they're 99.9% .9 water. Um, it's just I wish they were a little bit like this so when you are using one hand it's easy to grab them out of the container but this always gets stuck. So if you don't have two hands, you're gonna have to put, um, you're just gonna have to figure out. I know it's not the biggest problem, but I love when they have that little top part so it helps to get the baby wipes out. Um, but yeah, we're not gonna go through these drawers and all this stuff here um, because it's just like random stuff right now. Like we have the Mushies um, toothbrushes. I just had to get these. I was scared they're gonna um, sell out. A little gloves for him because winter here these are the north phase ones and like we have this that we were gifted to him and this is like an infant training cup so this stuff is like when he gets older but of course I have to go ahead and get the stuff organized this is like random stuff and then we have the bibs here 
um, when he's older, um, six to 18 months. We have like this little refill for the garbage pail that we have. Um, yeah, and this is just like, <laughs> I'm telling you, um, we have like this, I have to show you guys. And I'll go way into depth into my next one, but these are the cutest like little Zara pants. And this is when he is six to nine months. So I didn't want to get one he was little because I know we weren't going to go out much, especially with COVID. But I got these and I think they were him. $15.90. But yeah, so basically, I'm going to finish my coffee. And I'll give you guys one last little overview of the room. I will go ahead and try to link everything down below. Um, I think he might be sleeping now, but um, this is the last little overview. Oh yeah. He got fed and he just puts himself to sleep. And that is all. I will do another one of these like updated nursery um, tours when we actually have him in here and we have everything organized but right now that is how it looks but that is all we're gonna go ahead and let Elijah sleep and on the last note here we are gonna be doing a lot of like baby must-haves especially for newborns um, I bought so so much stuff during um, pregnancy and the stuff that I'm I'm gonna do a video on the stuff that I'm actually using and finding stuff like local small shops and like stuff like this so it's not the colorful colors if you guys love like neutral wood and like just kind of like pastel colors and not like the bright colored products stay tuned because i'm going to be doing a lot of those videos all right guys thank you so much for watching subscribe for more videos